Yo, what up? Kipto here. I am pumped to show you brand new Fortnite illustration. As you may have known, I made two Fortnite illustrations for uh, season 10. And then they called me back for season 11 or, or chapter two. So as you may have seen, this is from the previous season. And I kind of wanted to go in that same kind of really graphic bold direction. Keep it punchy and keep it kind of with a bold impact. I painted two new illustrations, but uh, only one of them actually made it into the game. So let's dive into that one and uh, I'll show you uh, how I made it. All right, so for this piece, I kind of found these two characters, these kind of like cowboy and cowgirl Western style characters that really kind of caught my eye. And I was like, all right, there's my theme. I'm gonna concentrate on these two characters, the female and the male. I started with this kind of sketch here of this woman in this side profile, really kind of hat low, hair blowing in the wind. And so then I wanted to add the second character in there. Bam. I was trying to figure out where I could put him. Could I put him over here? Maybe have him shooting this way. So she's looking this way and he's looking that way. But I ended up going with this and then putting him in a circle like that. So now we kind of have this concentrated energy over here. And then I thought, wouldn't that be sick if the guns were coming through her hair kind of surrealistically? And so that's what I did. Bam! Added all these cool guns in the hair. And now we kind of have this explosion of energy coming out from the middle poof, on both sides. And so with my process of digital painting, I like to sometimes start with like a, a black and white sketch, getting the values in there. We have the dark uh, gray, we have the middle gray, and then like the light gray. Developing it even further, carving out our eyes. So this is like a color layer a pink color layer and then it doesn't change the values. It just puts a pink shade on top. She had pink hair and I just kind of went for it, you know? And then I kind of filled in the rest of the hair here, boom, filling out that. And after that, we kind of add some more hair here, filling out the volume of the hair here. So then we're gonna bring the gun drawing back on top here and then add that circle back in and just fill it with that nice teal color. It's against that pink. And then we start filling in these guns. Oh yeah, Bam! looking spicy. And I used the, the same pinks to paint those guns and it's almost like a second viewing experience where you, you see it, you see kind of see the portrait in the circle and then you see the guns afterwards and it kind of creates a little aha moments which I kind of like to put in a lot of my work. That's what I like to do. I like to do the mid-tones and the darks and at the very end of rendering something, Bam, add those highlights to really just kind of set it off and bring everything forward that you that you want. And then I started rendering out her eyeball here on this side to kind of bring some detail back into her face and added this little bit of teal into her eye to kind of match that and give it a little bit of push and pull. And then I was thinking, you know, how do I render this guy? How do I render this cowboy and give it that bold impact I'm looking for? And I thought, bam, make that like a silhouette and have these kind of glowing eyes, that kind of comic book style, taking inspiration from like Frank Miller, Mike Mignola, but I don't want it to be just black. So what I'm gonna do is start filling in this part here, taking in these pinks here, these dark pinks, giving it kind of these simple kind of strokes here, and then kind of bringing in some of this orange here, and then pushing this arm back a little bit into space just to kind of give it that atmospheric effect. And then this arm's kind of hidden over here. It's not really popping out. So what I'm gonna do, bam, just add a nice outline to that. It kind of gives it this cool graphic effect to it that I really kind of like. So now we're at the point where it's pretty much finished. And what I like to do is just add a little bit of flair to it. I like to call it flair. It's kind of like dirtying it up, making it look a little bit more traditional. Here I'm adding some splatters, roughening up some edges over here. And then I'm adding a little bit of pencil lines here to roughen up this circle, make it a little bit more kind of vibrating. Pushing this edge back, adding cool splatters here. And then the background is a little bit too flat. Boom. Add a little bit of textures and splatters, push and pull, play around, and then just a little dash of white right here. This is the only piece of actual pure white at the end of the gun and then Bam, we're done.
super pumped about how this came out. I uh, really enjoyed making this piece. It came together uh, rather quickly once I had this idea. Uh, I really want to do more of this. So if you like this kind of content, let me know down below if you want to see more of this digital illustration type of work. I'll try and do more time lapses of it. I'm trying to figure out that kind of sort of thing. Uh, if you like my work, check out all my other videos. I do tons of mural work, painting all around the world, traveling and meeting a bunch of other cool artists, a web store where you can buy all sorts of cool prints and merchandise to spice up your studio or your room, get inspired every day, hanging on your wall. I got stickers. Look at this. I got four different kinds of sticker packs for you to check out and pick up for you to uh, slap all over all of your favorite things that you like to put stickers on. I mean, come on, how cool are these, man? These are actual murals that I painted around the world turned into sticker form. How about that? And I'm coming out with uh, brand new t-shirts very soon and working on some really sick designs and finding out new ways to make the t-shirts. So very excited about that and be prepared for a really cool t-shirt job coming very soon. So that's the insight into my work. Keep creating, keep feeding that kinetic imagination. And thanks for watching.